So what needs to happen for this baby to come through is as she's going into the pelvis, this part of your pelvis is going to open and this is going to open. As your baby is coming out, your pelvis is going to move and your sacrum is going to move to create space. So whilst we cannot control how this baby is going to go in, what we can control is how we can create space within the pelvis to allow the baby's space to come out. So your pelvis is not positioned this way. It's tipped to the diagonally. And your baby is not coming in this way. Your baby is also tipped diagonally. That's why you have your pregnant belly. When your baby starts labor in LOA, that means that the head must have dropped quite deeply to be in LOA. Why? If you look at the inlet pelvis, widest diameter is side to side. When you look at the outlet pelvis, widest diameter is not side to side, it's front to back. So the baby has to go in and enter from the widest diameter and come out from the widest diameter. So let's say your baby managed to drop and starts labor in LOA. Now, the, this is the left side of the baby's head. We call this the left parietal bone. In between your spine and your sacrum is what we call the sacral pomitary. So the sacral pomitary juts out. So when your baby is in left occiput anterior, when the contraction starts, the left parietal bone rubs against the sacral pomitary. So when you have contractions, so push the baby and it will cause the left parietal bone to rub against the sacral pomitary. When this is happening during contractions, it signals this baby to chin tuck even more so that occiput is presenting at the widest diameter. As the baby enters the pelvis, moving from left occiput anterior to occiput anterior is a 45 degree shift. Because of the changing diameter of the pelvis, this baby is going to rotate from LOA to OA. And then this baby is going to go deeper into the pelvis until the head is born. Once the head is born, because the widest diameter is from front to back, this baby now has to rotate its shoulder. And then the anterior shoulder will come out first, followed by the posterior shoulder and your baby.